Tanya and welcome to the weekly sketch challenge and I am doing the dreaded mixed media. I have said often that I tend to avoid this or if I do it I do very very simple because um, yeah it tends to be a bit of a disaster so what I tried to do is the packaging technique and I wasn't I wasn't that unhappy with it except I managed to get color everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and these are the three beautiful Lindy Stamp Gang mists that came in the colour add-on for the July kits. And yeah, now I've cottoned on to the fact that if I actually clean up my little piece of uh, packaging, it might go a bit better. But they are gorgeously bright colours and they're really very clever because they come with just the powder in the bottles. And the instructions are to add some warm water to and it gives a, a indication on the bottle as to how high up you need to add that water and you let it sit for 10 minutes and you give it a good shake and then you have these colors and one of the things as to why that is so brilliant in my book is because in the shipping weight is so much less and there's no spillage or leakages I t it's just a phenomenally brilliant idea and I take my hat off to them I haven't actually used uh, Lindy Stamp Gang's mist before so that was a lot of fun and another one of our little instructions this time was not just to do the sketch but we were asked to use a white cardstock background and the mixed media actually no I think the mixed media was part of the sketch but we were asked to use die cuts or something like that and stitching and I'm going to um, admit sorry my cat is meowing at me I'm going to admit that I did slightly cheat with the stitching because uh, a bit like mixed media my sewing machine and me are not exactly best friends half the time and I really didn't want to battle with it so I'm going to do some stitching below the flowers that I am now currently placing on the bottom there and uh, yeah it's going to be like grass that's my story and I'm sticking to it and these flowers were quite clearly uh, designed by Kim Watson because one of those is a protea which is South Africa's uh, national flower so that was super cute to see that in there and oh they're just so cute they're bright and colorful and happy and we're the right bang smack in the middle of winter so to do a bright colorful cheerful layout like this yeah, it, it it pleased my heart, it did, because we've been having lots of rainy, very cold weather. Cold for us, you understand. I mean, we, I do live in Africa and, you know, not not like Europe cold, but, but we get cold. So, you know, we, we feel it. And also our houses aren't exactly geared up for the cold weather. So we feel it even more. Mm. Yeah, we do. <laughs> so my title, I wanted to use these gorgeous words that came. They're Pinkfish Studio, pretty sure I'm right there. They're just beautiful and uh, I thought they went well there because it's like this long word and you know I've got my clustering going on behind my photo and yes I did cover up most of that uh, mixed media that I did but that's okay. I quite like some of the splashes I've got of that bright blue and then the yellow at the bottom. Oh yeah. I was I was suitably chuffed with myself, I was. And then I figured that I would back it on this beautiful candy striped piece of paper because I wanted to, I thought about doing an edge all around. I tend to do that often. But then I thought, okay, now let's just have the sides poking out uh, because it just looks pretty and the colors all go together. And as you know, these kits are designed with that in mind so you just can't go wrong you really can't and there they briefly showed you my uh, stitching which is supposed to be grass well you know mimicking kind of like grass because otherwise those flowers are kind of floating and they need not float so uh, this is the epic battle of the washi I always do that with my stitching because I'm terrified it's all going to fall apart <laughs> which it probably would because I'm pretty sure the tension on my machine is horrible too so yes we are doing the weekly sketch once again and it is a competition that is hosted in the Facebook forum for the hit kit oh hip kit club that is kind of a tongue twister sometimes particularly after a day's work and yeah there's a ten dollar coupon code up for grab so if you come along and yeah sorry that was jessica's hand there she was pointing at how pale white we are well her and her sister in this case anyway the competition yes there's a ten dollar coupon code up for grabs and every friday a post is made in the forum and the sketch is shown there and some of the design team examples are given there and you get a week to 
make your own layout or project based on the sketch and you post it there and you're eligible to win and you do not need to be a member of the club the subscription club you just need to be a member of the facebook forum and i'm going to kill him if he meows anymore problem is i've got him shut in my room because i wanted to do this voiceover and he was cold so he was staying in here with me now he's bored to death and wants to go out but he's going to have to wait a few minutes so yeah i now got these brads i mean my gosh when last did we use brads I can't remember other than <laughs> other than when they come in these kits. But yes, I very uh, bravely decided to just poke holes in my paper and colour coordinate my brads a bit and just stick them down because it gives another another dimension to the layout and they're really, really pretty. They're kind of uh, metallic-y, uh, the, the colour, the shine. So yeah, so there you go. See, just with gay abandon, poking holes in my layout. I apologize. I will be back short. I am back having evicted the cat. Honestly, cats sometimes, I love them to death, but they can be really quite annoying. And yeah, I had put some fun foam behind that one flower to elevate it, and it was a bit uh, too elevated, so I had to take some of it off. I don't know, sometimes I like having uh, dimensional, you know, lifting off the elements on my layout, and then other times I wanted it all to lie flat, so... Uh, I guess it just depends on the mood really and yeah I'm just sticking things down and I love how my title came out and if you you know did enjoy putting journaling on your page then you could very easily do some lines underneath that today and do your journaling there I just never got around to it because I'm a bit of been a bit of a rush this time because we've got a long weekend coming up in fact when this is posted um, it's our long weekend and we're going camping Yes, in this weather we're going camping. We are we are crazy, crazy, I tell you. A bit like me with all these enamel dots. I decided to take all the random splatters that I had managed to get when I splattered with the mists and put uh, random enamel dots all over them. And then I think you're going to see me take most of them off because I decided I didn't like the look of it. <laughs> So that was a complete waste of time and effort, but uh, we have to do these things in order to realize that we don't like something. So uh, maybe learn from my mistake and don't do that or do it. I don't know. Maybe it'll look better on yours than it does on mine or uh, yeah, whatever. But uh, yeah, I put them down and you're going to see that they're going to all come off. There we go. <laughs> Am I taking them off? Maybe I do that off camera. But uh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm pretty much done. There we go. Take them off. Pretty much done with this. I hope you enjoyed it. I do hope you'll come check out the Facebook forum and join in. We get lots of people that do. And don't forget, there's a ton of inspiration, not just in the forum, but on the blog and the YouTube channel and... Uh, yeah, anywhere else you can think of, Instagram, the rest. So there we go. There's my finished layout. And I actually love how the, the mixed media came out in the end. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And yeah, we will chat again soon. Bye bye.